There's so much confusion around the number of meals we should eat per day. Because there are opinions to every direction about the subject, I decided to organize some of the science on the right number of meals uh, we are designed biologically to eat for better health and body composition. I'm putting an emphasis on what we are biologically designed because the way most people eat today wasn't created by science or nature, but by how humans created today's culture. We didn't eat the way we do now up until a few centuries ago. The way we eat today was shaped by the cultural changes humans created over the centuries. It began with the development of the typical workers day due to the agricultural and industrial revolutions, where you would have certain hours of the day when you're at work. Because of that change in how our day looked like, we had to see where we fit the time in which we consume food in our day. It has become common that people would eat in the morning before they go to work, which is uh, breakfast as we know it. Then at noontime, this was usually when people took a break from work and that became lunch as we know it. And after workers completed the work, they would go home and usually sit around the table with their family. And this is where we feed the dinner as we know it today. It's the way our day got structured with the working window that suggested the new eating pattern in certain hours of the day. But it doesn't end here. It was in the early years of last century that we got introduced to snacks in a large scale. It first began with having snacks in uh, sports games, shows, or uh, you would see those stands when you walk across the park. But then the snack industry started to rise. The food industry started to grow and pushed into our minds the idea of snacks as part of our meal schedule in the, ch in the shape of chocolate bars, cookies, crackers, and more. One of the reasons we tend to think that eating many small meals during the day is better for us is because of the misconception that it will increase our metabolism and help us lose weight. This idea of metabolism is talked about very often and this is a big myth. What's metabolism anyway? Let's look into that. So metabolism is the process in which your body uses energy from food for all the essential processes that happen inside the body, like um, breathing, blood circulation, thinking, uh, digestion, muscle contraction, and more. This process basically keeps you alive and makes sure your organs are working properly. Whether you consume all your calories for the day in one big meal or in six meals, your body still has the same amount of food to break down and digest. So consuming lots of small meals during the day will not increase your metabolism. A lot of people talk about metabolism like it's something you can somehow control or change. So what's the problem with eating lots of meals during the day? It all comes down to our friends insulin and glucagon. When it comes to food, your body has two states, the absorptive state and the post-absorptive state. Every time you eat, you enter the absorptive state. Your blood sugar levels go up and the body produces insulin to transfer the sugar into the cells, for example, into the muscle or fat cells. And that way, it lowers the sugar levels in the blood. Your body basically gets ready to store food energy. Once insulin completed its work, sugar levels in the blood goes down and insulin production is stopped. This whole process usually takes about 4 to 5 hours after your last meal. This state is there to store the energy from the food you consume, but we don't burn fuel and utilize the energy in this state. If insulin is working, hormones that are responsible for breaking down energy are not present. That only happens in the post-absorptive state. In this phase, hormones like glucagon are secreted and their job is to take the energy that is stored inside our cells and break it down into available fuel for the body to use. This is when we enter the fat burning mode. This means that if you eat six meals a day, your body basically works to store energy six times a day and you barely give it time to reach and burn the stored fat. If you're eating every two to three hours, you're constantly pumping out uh, insulin and the levels never go low enough for glucagon to get to work. It actually has the opposite effect of effectively losing fat. And yes, I know there are people that eat six meals a day and still get really fit, but it's because of the calorie deficit they create and not because of the amount of meals they consume. Also, there's another health factor here, and this is the cleansing your body needs to do to get rid of the waste and toxic substances that accumulated inside our body. When we eat, our body has to focus on digesting the food that just got in, and it can't really direct more energy for other processes uh, that are necessary for living. 
our body does the vast majority of cleansing and healing when it doesn't need to deal with food it can just leave the food in the stomach focus on other things for a while and then go back to digesting because the food will start to rot inside and that's going to be an issue so whenever we eat our body stops everything it does and focuses on clearing away all that entered the digestive system physiologically there's no reason to eat so many meals per day now what's the definition of a meal what do you consider a meal and does it matter do you consider a meal consuming a certain size or amount of food do you consider a meal consuming a certain minimum of calories is a meal considered something that is cooked is a meal considered something that you have to chew you see all of these are considered a meal a meal is any time you put something into your body even if it's an apple as a snack in the afternoon or if you drank a bottle of coke while you're at work or the little cookie you picked up to eat as you went by the kitchen every one of those times your digestion system enters a work shift according to your schedule according to the boss and now you're probably asking so now what i'll eat two meals a day and stay hungry for the rest of the day eating small meals during the day never allows you to feel really satiated and feel some comfort in your stomach and here's an example so let's take the average woman uh, trying to lose weight and she eats around 14 to 1500 calories per day if you're going to split that 1400 calories into six meals it's going to be really small meals i used to be like that and you can't really feel satiated or satisfied when we have a steady meal schedule in a specific time window our uh, smart body gets used to it and realizes that it has no reason to signal for hunger during those hours when we don't eat because it knows when the next meal will arrive and what happens is that we eat for a short part of the day but don't feel hungry at all for the rest of it it just takes some adjusting time now what about eating one meal a day there are two main issues with that the first one is that it's hard to consume all your calories for the day in one meal unless you're relying on junk food and the second one is food combination if you want to include lots of food items and to have variety in the nutrients you get from the food you'll have to combine all of them to digest all at once if you eat for example fruits with beans avocados uh, veggies pasta whatever else you're eating and those foods have different digestion time some take shorter some take longer time to exit the stomach so you're very likely to have trouble with your digestion this way so what's the ideal number of meals what's the sweet spot creating a short window of eating during the day and consuming your meals during that time is going to help you find your sweet spot our days got longer with the invention of the light bulb which created a longer eating window for us and also created the ability to grab food and eat every hour of the day which wasn't possible in nature so the intermediate fasting style of around eight hours eating window is going to allow you to eat enough calories to have large variety of foods and it allows your body to get into the fat burning mode your body starts to burn fat effectively after about 12 hours of fasting when it's completed burning glycogen as its source of energy usually inside those eight hours most people consume about two meals or three meals at most you just need to find whatever you can stick with that is most sustainable for you long term thanks for watching guys make sure to check the description for more info links and some recommended books for those of you who want to dive deeper i'll see you in the next video